Greetings respected viewers, welcome to Cryptoid family, Sami here. Today I am going to assist you with a very easy, interesting and most joyous strategy that is going to help you in binary options trading as well as increase your experience of learning. Today's strategy is a very different, unique and very easy strategy. Let me tell you a bit of the background before switching towards the implementation of the strategy that I try to convey everything in the simplest format so that you do not take anything complex, find anything difficult or you just lose interest or so. I try to convey you the best possible things in the summarized manner that are going to help you to of course start gaining something and I try to convey the basic concepts along with guiding you some advanced level skills. This will help you to have the basic know-how of how to keep on trading. So even if you are a newbie, you are always welcome for watching this video. Moreover, do watch out my already uploaded stuff as well because it would be really beneficial for you. Now I need to tell you that you need to have the chart type as candles for this particular strategy. You see it was previously lines and now it is candles as you select the chart type as candles and one more thing irrespective of any trading window that you're using you can apply the strategy so need not to worry about that. Now the time frames that you need to have for different strategies are different. For this particular strategy the candle time required would be one minute or two minute candle so let's have it on one minute there i have clicked one minute and now you see the fluctuation of candle each individual candle will show your movement of total one minute as you have watched that the candles time has been set now you will be applying some indicators that are required to accomplish the strategy and one more thing that you need to remember is that different strategies are to be utilized at different points of time. You cannot keep on using one strategy all the time so you need not to worry. You can always reach me out on my contact details for having the updated information regarding different strategies, different combination of indicators that you need to use at specific parts of the day and I'll be there to assist you with that. Now all you need to do is you will be applying one Bollinger band where, where you see okay so now you will be applying one commodity channel index there you got it and the last we require is MACD. So there you see I have applied three indicators that are required to trade very great. Now I'll be customizing each one of them as per my requirement and this will formulate to be a great combination of indicators with the condition that you have to use different strategies, different combinations at different points of time and then you can have a really good results. Of course, now all you need to do is you're going to keep the Bollinger Bands point as 13 whereas the deviation can be 2.2 so there you go and even if you require to be the deviation to be at 3 that's fine as well so styles of your choice there you go I do not require the middle line so I have unchecked it there we select the lower limit as red color background should also be much visible so there I selected yellow now and there I save it commodity channel index needs to have the point 20 or even 19 the styles must be of your choice so there you see let's change the background as well there you go and there I save it now Similarly, the MACD needs to have the following as you see. 
the fast period 12, slow period 26 and the signal 9 is fine. You can always change the styles and the colors. Once you have changed the styles and the colors, you are going to have good and clear view of whatever you are watching out while picking the point to trade. So there I save it now. Now each and every time you see the candle clearly touching the lower limit as you see that happening here, all you need to do is that particularly at that point of time if the commodity channel index main line touches the lower limit or if it is beyond the lower limit as you see it happening here at that very point of time and the MACD lines had already intersected before or they are switching from the upper to the lower region as you can already see it happening here this is the point where you can pick a uptrend a buy trade a higher trade with a one minute purchase time so this is really easy and simple to remember that as and whenever you see the candle touching the lower limit after soon afterwards you're going to pick a buy trade with two different confirmations that commodity channel index main line is going to below the lower limit or it is going to touch the lower limit moreover another confirmation that we require is the macd switching from the upper to the lower region or the macd lines intersecting each other at that very point so that's how you can opt for the buy trade a higher trade a call option this was an uptrend otherwise the market looks stable so there are less candles touching the upper or the lower limit there you see this happening again the green candle touching the upper limit the bullinger line the upper bullinger line so once you see this happening you're going to see where is the cci main line first confirmation CCI main line is above the upper limit. Second confirmation, MACD lines are in the upper region. They are not intersecting, but the MACD bars are in the upper region. The lines are not intersecting. So we have got enough confirmation to pick a point of sell trend, downtrend. Why? Because the green candle had touched the upper Bollinger line which is orange colored. So you need to remember this point and that is how you can pick the points of buy and a sell. Moreover, let's watch out some other way arounds that are going to help you to understand how to practically implement the stuff that I try to convey you. Now you see this happening here. The red candle clearly touched the lower Bollinger line where the CCI main line is also touching the lower limit and the MACD lines are clearly intersecting. Moreover, the third confirmation that you saw is that the MACD lines are also intersecting as well as the MACD bars are in the lower region. So this is how you can opt for the point to pick a buy trend, higher trend, a uh, call option so this is how you have to manage the things accordingly as i'm trying to convey you you can keep on watching this throughout and you will be picking very good points to trade moreover let me tell you a bit of more things that you become confused or you, if you have any sort of queries regarding anything that i try to convey you you can always have my assistance on the details mentioned in the video you can always reach me out of course you can reach me out for coaching collaboration getting your systems managed or any sort of help that you require moreover one important thing is that you have to use different strategies at different points of time for the same purpose you are always welcome again as well as many people let me know that they do not have a good performance percentage while they practice the stuff this is because you summarize something by picking the one or two points to trade only 
what you need to do is you have to do something like pick 10 points to trade and then you are going to have a good percentage of winning or you are going to summarize uh, or conclude your plan your action and for that purpose you're going to practice the stuff in the way that you're going to pick 10 different points at different uh, parts of the day and then you're going to summarize that how is a certain combination of indicator working for you but still you need to remember that you cannot keep on using one combination of indicator all the times that is not recommended to be done the way so markets are never moving in a stable form or in a smooth manner they have different fluctuations different movements at different points of time there are scenarios when the market is really volatile and there are scenarios when the market is really stable so you have to cover all different things at different approach so that's how i guess that you can have a really good results uh, overall once you practically implement the things i try to convey you about that's all for now grip trade is a family stay connected stay in touch stay happy and see you very soon take care bye respectable viewers i hope you liked the video for more informational stuff stay tuned to the channel i've been into trading since years and i aim to impart all that knowledge in you people other than that for any collaborative ideas or any sort of queries that you want to get resolved you can contact me on my personal details mentioned in the video description